Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the Roundabout Studio Calico June Kit. And I, I took out some of the scraps that I had pre-made and I'm just showing you that I have another picture that I want to do like a second layout that's going to be beside it. It's not going to be a two-page layout, but they're going to coordinate. So I'll probably do that in a few, in a few layouts or something because I've already taken the stuff out for the next layout and I totally forgot I wanted to do that so I didn't didn't get that photo out. So now I know I want to use that chevron that we got in this month's kit. This is my second sheet and I want to be able to use it. I knew I was going to use both of these ones. There was about four or five sheets that I knew that right off the bat that I would be using, you know, the second sheet. I'm just basically going to do like a second background with that chevron and the other blue chevron paper. The other one is from Basic Gray. And then I had that black and cream, black and white um, plus signs, I guess. And this was at a a scary uh, like a like a, a it's called nightmares fear factory so they just go through and it's like a scary house or whatever and uh, so it you know I didn't want it to be all all bright so I want to bring in some black and then I took out that template I used last month and or last month last layout and uh, I just use the charcoal ink. And I know I want to put some to the left of the page where the bottom circle is, just because I want to bring some of that black paper to that bottom corner, but I, I'm not going to put it vertically. I'm going to put it horizontally. And then I'm still, you know, I took out a lot of these are scraps that I had done kind of myself and now I know I want to do another one of those circles gray circles but on the white pattern paper and then that's pretty much going to be the layout right there but I'm going to fuss with the layers for a little longer I know I want to use the stamp set that says this makes me and then you put an adjective. So I'm going to put it on a block and I'm going to use one of the Hero Arts ink. I think it's called Mint. Mint Green. And I stamped it on a light blue cardstock, like an aqua cardstock. And I stamp that on there and I cut it out. At first, I'm going to leave that button there for the longest time just because it was out and I didn't uh, know if I could use it or not, but I don't end up using it. So now I'm going to back that little Polaroid with the same color that I back the photos with. And then I'm going to put that stamped image over top. So then that stamp image has something, you know, that's grounding it. So now I know I want to use those chevrons but I don't want to use it in that cork color. So I'm going to use the calico white from Mr. Huey. I'm going to put a coat and then I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to dry it up. And I had this bottle of water that I had almost finished it and I just had a little bit left. So now I've kept it in here in my craft room and I just cleaned off my brush. And then I know I want to use like um, <clears throat> a teal color and I totally forgot about my dauber from Hero Arts. So I went and got the Heidi. At first I think I want to use gray and then I think no that's going to be too dark. So I went and got that nice um color from Heidi Swap and I'm going to color in all those chevrons and then I'm going to dry them up and I'm sorry if my voice is all crackly but I just got over being sick with the flu and now I have a cold <laughs> so 
<coughs> Excuse me. So hopefully I can <coughs> make it through the whole video without coughing too much or hopefully not <coughs> sniffle or anything like that. But I wanted to get this done and get it uploaded. So I had colored in that camera a, a few pages ago and I didn't use it. So I'm going to use it on this page. And I bought these thickers at Winners. It came like in a package of five. And it was like $10 for ten or five thickers. So it was like $2 each. And I didn't have that font yet. So I really liked it. I really liked the color of it. So at first I think the, you know, the tile's going to be so scared. But I'm just going to end up putting scared. Um, there's even like um, a count of how many people chicken out every day like that they can't make it through the whole thing and uh, through the whole time that they're you can hear them it, like screaming and so I was sitting on outside waiting for them and um, I was I was laughing my head off because it was just so funny to hear them scream and you'll see in the next page that I do uh, they took pictures of them inside and uh, the picture's really funny, so I want to, it's like a 8 by, 8 by 10 maybe, or maybe not, 5 by 7, 5 by 7, yeah. So I want to put it on a page on its own, and I have the tickets and everything, so I'll, I'll put that on its own page. So I went through my digital prints that I got printed at Staples, and these digital files, I buy them um, at Studio Calico and then I get them printed at Staples and they look like you bought them like they're just the quality is is awesome so this one here said good times and it had a journaling card beside it and I just cut that off because I didn't want the journaling card I just wanted the title and then <clears throat> at one point what I do is I just walk away when I think I have everything that I need, I just walk away and then I just come back to it later on that night or the next day if it, if I was scrapbooking at night. And actually this was this morning. Today is Tuesday, October 2nd, I believe. Or Wednesday, October 2nd. And um, <clears throat> I just could not sleep last night. So I had been up since 2 o'clock in the morning. So I came in and finished this page. I guess that's what happens when you, you know, do four or five night shifts in a row. Then when you, you have the days off, then your body's like, what? Sleep? No. You need to stay up all night. So hopefully tonight I get a good night's sleep. So at this point, I feel good with everything that, you know, I, I chose. So I'm going to start gluing everything down. I'm going to use my ATG. And... I'm going to flip it around and cut it off and I do a horrible job and then I take my trimmer so I take my trimmer and I try to fix it and I end up doing a horrible job so it takes me a couple of tries and then I get it cut so that it's straight and now I'm going to glue the rest of the layers down and like I said a lot of these were scraps that I had pre pre done when I first got my kit what I did was I took the 12 by 12s cut them down to 6 by 12 I kept one sheet at 6 by 12 and then the other I just cut up in strap in scraps there was no rhyme or reason I just did different shapes you know different sizes and um, now I'm just got them to to use up so now I'm going to look at my Kelly Perky Alpha stickers in the teal color and I'm trying to figure out you know what adjective that I could use and then I thought you know uh, while I was sitting out there like I was laughing out loud like I was sitting by myself and I was laughing out loud at hear hearing them scream and it wasn't just them there was a couple of groups before them and they were just screaming their heads off and I it you know, I had fun just listening to them. So at this point, I have no idea where I went. And while I was looking through my digital prints, I took out 
a lot of red elements and I just wanted a splash of colors like in the chevron there was a little bit of red and in the picture like the the title or the name of the place nightmares is in red so I just want to bring a little bit of red I want to bring a, a splash of color so I took three different things and put it in diff three different areas and now I'm going to take my uh, Scotch quick dry adhesive and I'm going to start gluing everything down I'm going to put some foam tape in behind that circle and a foam tape. I bought this huge roll at Custom Crops for $33, but now it's $42 or $43 at Custom Crops. But I found it at Scrapbooking Warehouse for $30 and it seemed like it's their regular price. So if um, you wanted uh, a roll, you could go check them out. I don't know what the shipping would be on it because I didn't check it out, but uh, their shipping seems pretty reasonable. I'm still having a hard time with where my page should be. Um, I think my camera moved quite a bit. So I, there I put it up a little bit. And now I'm going to put down the title. I'd never seen those thickers before so I was, I was pleasantly surprised when I saw them at Winners. And now I'm going to place those chevron heads that I had colored and that little flag was was actually from a branding strip from last month's kit and I really loved it so I still have it around and I want to make sure that I that I use them as little flags on my pages because I really like them now I just flipped the page over because there was some stuff that was hanging over and this little flag here I had gotten from one of the digital prints and cut it out and it just says life is good and then the red one says good times the red circle says this is so awesome and then the little gray one says the best and then of course the stamp says uh, this makes me laugh and then one of them one of the digital prints was actually a little label and that's where I'm going to put the month and the year and now where you color them, the chevron arrowheads and heat them up, it takes the stickiness away. So I just add some extra quick dry adhesive and after, and then I'm going to put some enamel dots and this is where I took away the button. And then I remembered, oh, I guess I'm going to put the date. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I want to put some washi tape. So I'm going to have to pull all those off put some washi tape down the washi tape had some aqua on it it was from October afternoon aqua and some black so it really coordinated with the page really well now I took some glimmer glaze and I'm going to add it in the three different areas and then I'm going to show you some close-ups like I'm done and then I had thought of putting one more element and I totally forgot about it so I turned the camera back on those little black acetates uh, clouds that we got in this month's kit. I figured this would probably be one of the only times that I'd be able to use them because I mean I wish the clouds would have been white instead of black so I'm gonna fool around with the I'm wondering if I shouldn't bring in any other black because I put those black uh, clouds but then I decided against it because I thought of um, the washi tape it had black in it so I'm not gonna end up putting those arrows on so if you want to see some close-ups, you can go to Two Peas in a Bucket or Studio Calico. Go in the Members Gallery and you can look at um, for Nicole Jones 911 and I upload all my layouts there. Or you can join me on my Facebook group and we share all our layouts there and motivate each other to, you know, get our uh, photos into our albums. And I'll have the link in the description. So that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.